So our book gives all sorts of fancy things about how to determine if something is a function or not. The vertical line test, I believe, because I'm a visual learner, is the best way. You're going to be doing lots and lots of graphing of these, so if you know this way of finding out if things are true or not, this will really help. So one way is to, we're going to put a bunch of bulleted notes, run an imaginary vertical line across your graph. Picture this as one of those fancy scanners that just takes and pretend I have, this is my vertical line, and it just goes across my graph. Picture that as a line instead of my marker. I picture imaginaries usually as something highlighted or yellow, so I'm going to highlight imaginary. Now here's where the bullets start to tell you what that vertical line test is telling you. If the vertical line ever touches the graphed line, and here's the key, more than once at the same time. That's important. I want you to underline that more than once at the same time, comma. Then the equation is not a function. I'll show you what that means with some examples in a couple minutes. Final bullet. If the vertical line always notice I underlined that and capitalized it. If the vertical line always touches the graph only once then the equation is a function So again, vertical line test. We are visualizing if an imaginary vertical line traveled across our graph like this, if the vertical line touches in two places at the same time, it's not a function. If the vertical line always touches the graph only once, then the equation is a function. And here's some example graphs. How about if we just make six little mini graphs down here? We should always have the arrows showing these go on forever and ever and ever. If you want to be detailed, you could label the x, y axes on these. Make six of them, please. We're going to make a few different example graphs to show what this looks like in practice. Hmm. Oops, I did the bottom ones wrong. Y, X, thank you. Y, X, and I can't even blame lack of coffee or lack of sleep. I went to bed on time and I had coffee this morning. I'll just pay it, blame it on not paying attention. Thank you for gently correcting me. Okay. I would like you to take one of your two colors and we're going to turn these graphs 
into graphs with a line on them. You are in algebra now. You're going to have some fancy looking graphs. Nope, I want your lines to be just like mine. And then I'm going to take my invisible vertical line and I'm going to make it visible by using my highlighter. If I was going to run a vertical line across this graph, Picture this is a scanner, and it's just going to keep scanning to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Is it ever going to hit that line more than once at the same time? Does it always touch the graph only once? Then that means this is a function. Let's say this one started here and scanned and scanned and scanned and scanned. What's going to happen when it hits the line? Is it touching more than one place at the same time? No. Yeah. It's touching every single place on that line at the same time. That means that this is not a function. Remember, if the, for this to be a line, these have to be points on the line. That vertical line is scanning over that and touching every single place at the same time. That's bullet two. Oh, that's what if the vertical line ever touches the graph line more than once at the same time, it's not a function. If this scans and scans and scans, is it ever going to touch the line in more than one place at the same time? It's only touching it once here. Even if it's scanned at the origin, is it going to scan more than one place at one time or just the origin? Just the origin. That means that this is a function. I don't. Oh, I, okay. why don't you scan the other side too? What other side? Ooh. No, Beck asked ask me your question. That I didn't. On, on the positive side. I did. If you had been looking, okay. I scanned and scanned and scanned. Is it going to hit anything over here more than once? No, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try here. Is that ever going to hit that line more than once at the same time? No. That means that this is what? This is a function. Okay, if I scan this here, is it hitting more than one place at the same time? Yeah. If I scan it again here, is it hitting more than one place at the same time? Yes. This is not a function. Let me finish and then I'll take questions. It's a vertical line test, so the line has to always be going up and down. Okay, I've scanned it right there. Right now, it's fine because right there, it's not touching more than one place of the line. Oh. But I'm going to keep scanning left, and what's going to start happening? Be a Notice what bullet three says. If the vertical line always touches the graph only once, then it's a function. Oh. If it only scans one time and only touches once, but every other time it's scanning two places at the same time, is it a function? No. 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 I know. Not a function. Okay. I would like you to label this side of your paper all the way down with a giant vertical line. And then I would like you to write vertically the vertical line test. And let's highlight those, just like our scanner would do if we were scanning across our graph. If I am scanning, the whole vertical line would go up and down, straight 
up and down, going left to right on my graph, or right to left. If it ever touches the same, more than one place at the same time, even just once, that makes it not a function. I would like it on the right because as you're turning pages, you're going to see that as you're flipping through your book. Okay, on the left side, we're going to glue, but not today. Today, you guys are going to just take this paper. There are 12 different things. We have talked about the vertical line test. We haven't talked about how to use a vertical line test when you've got a mapping diagram or a table. This is just XY pairs, isn't it? So what I'm going to give you is some graph paper, or if you want, you can just get a whiteboard with graphs on it. What would this graph look like? And would it pass the vertical line test? And with your pencil, without cutting these apart today, because we're not gluing them today and I don't want you to lose them, I want you to put function or not a function on all 12 of these. In order to use the vertical line test to do it, it needs to be in a graph form and not just in a table or a set down here with XY pairs. You have to take those XY pairs and graph them and I will make graph paper available. That is our goal today. Here's our goal tomorrow. We're gonna come back to this and you guys are gonna commit. And you're going to separate this page in half. And at the top, you're gonna to put functions. And at the bottom, you're gonna put not functions. And you will be cutting these apart and gluing them into your notebook to show different visual examples of what is a function and what is not. Do you guys see the long-term goal? So these are your problems for tonight. If you don't finish in class, you should come to class tomorrow with all 12 of these labeled function or in pencil because you might change your mind. Okay, questions, comments?